Hello stampers and thank you for joining me today. This is Laura Buchler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. And today we are going to have an adventure because usually at this point in the video I'm showing you the finished product of a card that we're going to make. Uh, but today I don't know yet how it's going to turn out because we're doing something different. I just got this bundle in um, yesterday just received it yesterday and took it out of the box today. I haven't played with it at all. You can see my stamps have never seen ink. And we're just gonna make it and we'll see how it goes. So I'm excited, a little bit nervous, but uh, I'm happy that you're gonna join me and we'll see how it goes. So this is the Royal Peacock Bundle. You can see it comes with nine beautiful stamps and then these gorgeous dies that coordinate with it. Very detailed and stunning. And of course, when you bundle these two together and, and buy the stamp set and the dies together, you get a 10% discount. So that's a fabulous deal. And I actually got an even better deal because I got it as a half price item. Now you've heard me talking in my videos about hosting a party and getting free rewards and so on. But what you might not know is that if your party order reaches $550, you actually get to choose a half price item and you can choose any item in the catalog that you, that your little heart desires. So I had a party recently after my fancy folds class and placed an order and uh, got it high enough that I got to choose a half price item. So I got this bundle here for First of all, the 10% discount that you get when you order these two items together. And then I only paid half of that price. So I think I paid $31 for, for both of these together. So pretty stoked on that. Anyway, let's see what we're gonna do with this card today. So I have got a piece of pretty peacock cardstock because what better color to use to make a peacock card? And I'm going to start with this stitched nested label die, which I'm going to cut out on the front of this card and give it, um, give it that negative image space. So excuse me for one moment and I'll get that done. All right, so I've got that cut out. Um, I could bring the big shot over here to this desk, but when I put it here, uh, when the tripod is set up, the tripod just kind of shakes like this as I've got it on the desk. So I just keep it over on my other desk. Anyway, so we can use this piece uh, for some other project because what I wanted was to create a window and that looks pretty cool. And we're gonna have the peacock, once we've got that done, the peacock is gonna be sitting inside that window somehow. So we'll figure that out as we go. So the next part that I'm going to do is with this gorgeous piece of specialty foil paper, uh, which is part of the Royal Peacock Suite. You can order a pack of these foil sheets. They come six in a pack um, to each of three colors. This is the first color and then also this color and this color. So those are just gorgeous. These are actually, if you have been following me for a little while, you might have seen me or heard me talk about um, when I went to on stage in April, there was one of the display boards that when I walked by it, I just, oh, I audibly gasped like that. It was these foil sheets that did it. So I'm actually going to run this piece through the big shot with the tufted embossing folder just to make it even more lush than it already is and we'll see how that looks. Wow, that is gorgeous. So what I want to do is I want this to sit right inside there. Oh my goodness, that's going to look beautiful. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on these spots here to hold this in place. So I'm very pleased with how this is looking so far. And if you didn't like having the back of that showing on the inside of your card, you could easily just cover that with another piece of Peacock cardstock or anything else that you like. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to get on to stamping my peacock. 
Now, as I said, I've got these two stamps already set up on blocks. They haven't even seen ink yet at all, so this is exciting and nerve-wracking. And what I've done is I've chosen Pretty Peacock ink and Seaside Spray, and I'm hoping that this will give enough of a contrast um, just to show you. We've got this stamp that's got the full body and tail of the peacock. And then this one here, this is meant to overlay on top of this and just add some detail. Now I've seen some absolutely stunning samples online where people have done this with heat embossing with gold or silver or copper and it's pretty much um, to die for. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to try it with ink and see how it looks. Is gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. Audibly gasping again. All right. And now I've got this one inked up with the Seaside Spray. Very pretty. Now it is a very subtle effect and I wonder how it would look if I did that the opposite way. Hmm, well we're playing around today so let's find out. So cardstock has two sides. We're going to flip this over and this time we're going to ink up this stamp with the lighter color with Seaside Spray. Very pretty. I think I do like that better. This, the seaside spray just kind of gets lost. So I'm going to go ahead and use this side and I'm going to cut it out with this die. All right, there's our peacock looking very pretty. Now I want the peacock sitting in the middle of this frame somehow. And of course we don't want this gorgeous tail hanging down past the edge of the card because then it won't fit in the envelope. I think it's going to go like that. Well, that looks pretty terrific. I'm pretty happy with that. So if I wanted to add a sentiment, there's lots of great sentiments here. Um, some really good congratulations sentiments. Um, I could add that here or up here, or even on the inside of the card. I am going to cover that up with some other cardstock just to finish that off. So that is my very first play with the Royal Peacock stamp set, dies, and the gorgeous gasp-inducing foil sheets. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I so appreciate it. I love to get your comments. I love it when you like and share and subscribe and all of that. Uh, it's very encouraging for me, so I appreciate it. 
And starting today, um, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to add one more exciting new thing here, which is that if, if you want to win this card that I've made, uh, you can just share this video either from my Facebook or from YouTube. And if you share this video, somebody who shares it is going to win this card. And then it could be your very own. So please drop me a comment below and let me know if you've shared it and let me know what you think and if there's anything specific that you're wanting to learn about or a product that you'd like to see demonstrated, just let me know. I'm always looking for ideas. Remember that you can purchase all these products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, where you can also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, the local workshop schedule, and the sign up for my monthly email newsletter. If you happen to be watching this on YouTube, I want to let you know that I have a Facebook page under Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, where you can join a weekly card sketch challenge and win a prize from me. If you do place an order today, please use the current hostess code, which you can find on my website, because everyone who uses that code is going to get a free gift from me. And if you'd like to earn your own hostess rewards and maybe even a 50% off item, all you need to do is place an order of over $200 or contact me and we can start planning your own virtual or in-home party. Drop me a line for more details and we'll get you started. Have a great day, everyone. Happy stamping. Bye.